All right, y'all. Arkansas Derby. Million and a half in this one. This is coming up after the Florida Derby. You'll be at 747 Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, that's 747 Eastern Daylight Time. Actual time will be um, 647, uh, but we like to do everything on Churchill Downs time um, for this channel at least. So one and a half million, as I said, Arkansas Derby going to Hot Springs. Um, another race that, uh, much like the Florida Derby, I think is uh, it, it's not quite so cut and dry. Um, I think there's a lot of horses that are question marks, maybe not so much as in the Florida Derby, but um, uh, there's mostly, I mean, for this, the way they've got it, um, the way they've got the odds, they, they really only think it's a three-horse race. I disagree, um, <clears throat> especially when you're dealing with a pace. I think this pace in this race is going to be hot. Um, and thus, I think that opens up for pretty much all of them. Now, the first horse, number one, will take it, is a curious horse out of tap it. 50 to 1 on this horse now, a maiden um, only running three races, uh, three maiden special weight races. Yet to get a win. Now, had a nice second place finish, I guess you would say, um, by a nose in the last out, mile and 116th, 145. So, I mean, the horse is. Um, familiar with the track in the distance, I guess you would say. Um, and he showed some competitiveness. I don't know if I'm ready to take this horse, though, at 50 to 1. I mean, I guess you can figure that's why he's 50 to 1. Not sure he really belongs in this race, um, but he's in it anyway. Number two, Timberlake, 9 to 5 favorite on this one. Um, Brad Cox, horse, winner of the Rebel. As you know, he's just looking to come back and get another win across this track. Uh, this horse has run in four stakes races, uh, trained by Brad Cox. Uh, like I just said, he got the win in the Rebel, fourth in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Um, got a win in the Champagne and second in the Hopeful. Strange thing, though, I mean, he had Christian Torres is riding him in the Rebel. Uh, so they pull him. Go to Flavian Pratt. So yeah, Flavian Pratt's hot. I get it. I don't know that I like switching the jockey like that, coming off a win, just messing with the momentum. But uh, that's what Brad Cox has chosen to do. Um, of course, is probably going to run a little closer to the front. Um, experienced horse, got some decent amount of speed. No blazing speed out of this horse yet, though. I mean, you know, this is the kind of race though that we'll get. You know, the winner I think is very likely to. Um, Probably have a, a time that's a little bit faster than he's had before, but um, we'll see. Uh, number three, Diabetic Gunrunner Horse, Mother's Father's Tap It. So um, you got the breeding here. Um, Thirty to, or sorry, twenty to one in the morning odds. Stephen Asmussen uh, is the trainer of this one. Now Asmussen um, still trying to get that Derby win. Uh, got three horses trying to get in there into the derby with this one, but none of them are a favorite, not showing too much from them. Uh, fifth place in the Rebel for this one in his last out. Before the Rebel, he broke his maiden um, mile in uh, 116th and 146. So not very fast there. Uh, you know, a lot of horses have trouble coming off that maiden, especially when you're going to go into a, horse, a race like the Rebel. So that didn't translate too well for him. He's seven lengths off the leader. So maybe that that, that tightened him up and he, the horse is going to come out and run the race of his life. He's got the breeding to do a lot better, but he hasn't done it so far yet in his career. Number four, um, time for truth. <laughs> I think this is a joke. Uh, of a name for a horse, I mean, it's always a time for truth. Well, not always, always, but I mean, I, it, that now somehow is somehow more of a time for truth than any other time. I don't think that. Uh, yeah, that's um, really going to translate over well as far as the name, um, the naming gods go with the horses. 
Rafael Bejarano riding this horse, 20 to 1. Um, morning odds for Time for Truth. The horse is out of um, Omaha Beach. Uh, now, Omaha Beach, one of those horses that just we don't really know what Omaha Beach really could have been. I, I thought Omaha Beach myself was a bit overrated, maybe. A bit of the hype to see that coming up to the Derby. But, you know, now we got um, – the, uh, the 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 progeny coming out. So, uh, time for truth. Probably going to be on the lead, uh, if not on it, uh, close to it. I think with this horse, win in his last out, an optional claimer at Oaklawn Park, a mile and one sixteenth, one forty five. Again, like I said, not not much of a great time on that. Uh, before that, he was second in the Ozark. Um, so, you know, he knows the track. We'll see if he can come out here and do something um, with these favorites. Uh, the the morning odds people don't seem to think so. This is why they got me 20 to 1. Uh, number 5 now, a liberal arts, an Arrowgate horse, 15 to 1. I think that might be a bit big, Tyler Gaffleone. Third in the Southwest Stakes last out for this one. Got a win in the street since. Third in the Iroquois. That's probably not going to stay at 15 to 1. Um, I think someone looking for an angle could very easily go with liberal arts in this one uh, because of the horse has has the experience and um, probably going to be coming off the pace, which would set up nicely for a horse like liberal arts. And uh, that's why I think he's um, that 15 to 1 is probably not going to stick. I, I think it's going to, he'll probably be closer, I think, to a 10 to 9 to 1. Um, Still probably a good play at those odds, though. Um, the race favors a horse with his running style, you should say. Number six, Informed Patriot. 30-1 to 1 with this one. Uh, Ricardo Santana Jr., another Asmussen horse. They've had success in the past. Um, last out, this horse, no success, though. 13 lengths off in the Sunland Derby. Fifth place, Joel Rosario is riding him there. Um, <clears throat> he's not staying on him. And the horse he's riding is a big odds horse. So, I mean, he didn't seem to find any reason to come back to him. Uh, third place in the Smarty Jones. Um, third in an optional claimer before that. So, uh, informed Patriot. Now, you know, I saw what he did in the Smarty Jones. I mean, showed a little hard. I just think that the distance for this horse is going to be too much probably. Most likely, I, I think the distance, the distance was too much before. Probably belongs below a mile, maybe at a mile. Number seven, Muth. I didn't look up the little history on this one. I don't know whether they're Steelers fans and the horse is named after Pat Fryer Muth. Um, but that's what I thought about it as soon as I, I saw the name of the horse. Eight to five on this one. Uh, Fryer Muth. Trained by, uh, uh, or no, sorry, I said Fryer Muth. Um, Muth trained by Baffert. Uh, JJ Hernandez riding him. Now, he got a win last out in the San Vicente. Um, was favored. I think he was the favorite in the uh, Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Second place there, though. Um, beaten by, um, beaten by, uh, Fierceness. Before that, Muth win in the American Pharaoh. So he had that win in the American Pharaoh, 142. Breeders' Cup Juvenile went down in 141. He was second. Uh, they gave it six lengths off in that one um, behind Fierceness uh, after being the favorite. And then uh, a win in the San Vicente where, you know, he, he kind of showed uh, who he is. Uh, horse is out of good magic, a curling horse. He's got that size to him. Um Muth to me seems like a, a, a one of those grown man horses. Um, is beatable, of course, uh, but I really think he's the horse to beat in this one. The pace could get to him for sure. Um, I think he's the one to watch out for. Number eight, Just Steel, fifteen to one, Justify horse. Uh, uh, KJS Musin. Ride him. Steve Asmussen's son. Ride him. D. Wayne Lucas, the trainer. Uh, last out, horse was seventh in the Rebel. Ten lengths off in that one. Um, 
second in the Southwest Stakes, second in uh, the Smarty Jones. Probably going to be running up front in this one. Uh, it, jockeys are going to need to, uh, <clears throat> KJ's going to need to get him under control, I think, to have a chance in this one. These other horses, I think, are going to get going pretty fast. I think he's going to want to get going fast, but I don't think that's going to be to the horse's benefit, being that uh, in this, this competition he's up against. 15 to 1 in the morning odds for a reason, I think. Uh, number 9, Mystic Dan. 5 to 2. The only, only other horse uh, that has some decent odds in it, or, or decent as far as uh, respectable, as I think the horse's chance of getting a win here. B.J. Hernandez riding him. Uh, Kenny McPeak, the trainer. Uh, now, Mystic Dan, out of Golden Sense, Sense which is an into mischief horse, uh, I think that the horse, um, though he's good, I, I think the B.J. Hernandez thing is going to hurt him. Uh, got a win last out in the Southwest Stakes. He's not going to be able to do that in this one. I think the competition is going to be too tough. He was um, fifth in Smarty Jones. Um, race before that, was that a fifth in a mile? Yeah. Uh, Mystic Dan, uh, the five to two, I think, is probably a bit low. I, I think it probably goes up. Um, he's had a decent horse, got him coming off that win. The pace is going to get to him, and I think it's going to hurt him. He's going to hurt him, he's going to fall apart. Number 10, Imperial Gun. 30 to one on this one. Uh, Emmanuel Esquivel riding him. This is another gunrunner horse, mother's father's empire maker. So with the strong breeding, uh, lightly raced, only three races from this one. Um, fourth last out in an optional claimer, uh, 144, the mile and 116th. As Tyler Gaffion was riding him there, so he hopped off of him, of course. Uh, we've got um, the race before that. He got the win, broke the maiden with Rosario. That was another mile, 165, 145 in that one. So he's got experience going this kind of distance. Uh, I don't think I've seen enough out of this horse with speed-wise. And even though with the breeding is good, I don't know if this is really going to be the race for him. He probably needs to grow, um, needs to grow a little bit more. Now, as far as how this race breaks down, um, like I said, I think it's going to be a hot pace here. Uh, probably a 46 opening half. I think Muth gets the lead, even though I've got Informed Patriot running up there. I've got Just Steel running up there. Mystic Dan, I think, is going to be up there. Imperial Gun will be up there. We'll have time for Truth up there. And Timberlake, I think, will probably be in the mix as well. Um I think it's going to be Muth's race, though. I think Muth will get the lead. He's uh, got that California experience. He's, it, he's going to make it a California race. I think that's going to be uh, working out to his advantage. So I got Muth coming up the win. Second place, Timberlake, Flavian Pratt. Uh, I think he keeps him competitive, but I don't, got, I don't think he's able to get the win. So I got him second. Fifth place, uh, no, not going with Mystic Dan. Or, sorry, uh, third place, not going with Mystic Dan. Uh, going with the five liberal arts, Tyler Gaff, Leon. Uh, I think he's, he's this horse uh, for a reason over his Imperial gun. So uh, I, I got him running third here. If pace gets out of control, I mean, maybe he could win it, but I don't I don't think that's going to happen. I think Moot's going to pull away with it. And uh, fourth place for the Super, I'm going with the one... Um, We'll take it. Um, going with we'll take it. Uh, the only reason I'm really doing that is because of the pace. I think the pace will be detrimental to the other horses. And uh, I think this we'll take it horse uh, out of tap. It will be able to sneak in there for surprising fourth, or at least I'm hoping so for a big super. Uh, so there we have it. That's my picks for the Arkansas Derby. Going with Muth in this one. Timberlake running second. Uh, so let me know what you have in the comments there um, as usual. And I will see you after the races.